All right, gang, we're back with another video. And today we're doing Timu camping. So what I got here is basically a survival kit off of Timu. And this is all I'm gonna be using to survive out here for the next 24 hours. I know some of y'all might have noticed I haven't been posting in a while. So stick around to later on in the video and I'll be telling y'all um how i went from jumping on a trampoline teaching my daughters how to do a backflip to being rushed to the hospital uh to have emergency surgery so i'm not going to do a lot of talking in this video show y'all the contents of this first and then i'm gonna start on getting my shelter built and give me something to start me a fire so sit back and enjoy the video stick make sure you stick around and find out uh, why i had to be rushed to the hospital to have emergency surgery all right let's get into the contents of this pack oh maybe i should just do this right here so pretty much this is the emergency survival kit and this is everything that comes in it i ain't really too much got to go through the rest of this stuff That ain't good. <laughs> My knife already done broke. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Timu. Look like some lions, man. It would have been a good snack.
it came with two fire wicks. So we're going to cross our fingers on that. So this wood is wet, wet, wet. So it's good that I got some fat wood over here. And that's what we're going to attempt to use. Kilo, eat. Hopefully I can break this smaller stuff down just a little bit more. It's still real, it's still pretty wet too. This is fat wood stick I got right here. I don't know how good you can see it, but. Nice piece of fat wood I'm finna scrape up. I'm gonna attempt to use this broken knife without cutting myself. And it's pretty dull. Oh yeah. That's about much out of the scrape so far. Only thing really keeping it going right now is that fat wood. So, but I mean it is what it is. But um, earlier I was 
saying I was going to tell y'all about uh, why I haven't been posting lately. So, uh, the day after Thanksgiving, I'm on a trampoline with my kids, you know, teaching them um, how to do a backflip. So, my youngest daughter, I went to turn her flip and um, her knee caught me right, right above my eye. That, that really dazed me. And then that's when it really started. So I had to just lay there for a second. I knew something was wrong, but I didn't know what was going on. I was like, something ain't right. <clears throat> so I got off the trampoline. I said, I'm finna go in the house and give me some water. And as soon as I got off the trampoline, and that's when it hit me. I couldn't breathe. My vision started going out. I started to black out. I couldn't hear. It, my hearing got muffled. As I'm walking to the house, by the time I got in the house, I really couldn't breathe. And I told my mom, I said, hey, something wrong. Um, I gotta take me to the hospital. All right, so as I get up again and walk to the truck, it happened all over again. The blurry vision, uh, my ear, my, uh, my hearing muffled, and I started to get lightheaded and started to black out again. And as I'm, as we riding, I'm kind of, I'm kind of there, but I'm not all the way there. You know what I'm saying? Because, because some something was seriously going wrong. Made it to the hospital. So as I walked into the emergency room, <clears throat> it happened again, but this time it was worse. I actually blacked all the way out. I I I I, I walked in, I say, I told mom, I say, you you gotta get me somebody now. Uh something is going on. Uh at this point, um I really couldn't breathe. Uh I fell into the chair in the in the, in the emergency room. I'm trying to gasp for my breath, like as scared I, as I ever been because I never been in a situation where I didn't have to breathe, where, where I couldn't breathe. And I started to black out again. Uh, they hurried and put me in a wheelchair and they got me in the back. They did a CAT scan because they put me in the thing. So they, hurt, they went, they put me in the CAT scan. They came back in and they told me I had blood clot in both of my lungs. And that was the reason why I couldn't breathe and that's why I was I was blacking out because I, I wasn't getting oxygen to my brain. So as I'm still trying to process that, they was like, yeah, we're going to schedule you for surgery in the morning. The doctor left out. I was like, okay, cool. Surgery in the morning. And they came back in five minutes later because they sent my scans to the surgeon. And he was like, no, we're not going to wait. These are massive clots. So he came in and did my surgery within the hour. So I had to have emergency surgery that same day. Where they went in, they, they put a tube down by my groin and shot it up through my lungs and removed the clots. I got a picture. Now, if you're squeamish, and you probably don't want to see this, but it's a picture of the clots that they removed out of both of my lungs up in the poster picture now. So, yeah, that's it. That's how many clots they pulled out of my lungs. So that's why I haven't been posting or because I've really been taking it easy. Um, really was a, a pretty big scare. So I was at ICU for three days and the total time I was in the hospital, I think, I think like six days. Even when, uh, even though they had pulled the clots out, had developed this cough, I was coughing up small pieces of the, uh, uh, of the rest of the clots that they couldn't get out, like the smaller pieces and stuff like that. That they were just going to let the blood thinners dissolve. Yeah, pretty scary. And this happened the day after Thanksgiving. That's it. That's how I went from jumping on the trampoline, teaching my daughter backflip, to being rushed to the hospital and having emergency surgery to remove blood clots from my lungs. Put your jacket on, buddy. It's a cute little first jacket. You want to be big lazy. He don't even want to move. Look at him. Man, that feels good, though. Look at that. That feels good, though. How you feel about that? You like it? Oh, he trying to give y'all a, a little fashion show. Check him out. Check him out, y'all. <laughs> I 
my guy. <laughs> he excited about his new jacket. Look. <laughs> All right, y'all. We about to we about to snuggle up. I'm about to watch me a movie and probably call it a night. <clears throat> I'll see y'all in the morning. Gang, we made it. But I'm gonna tell you, last night was. Pretty rough. We had a big gust of wind that came through and it was like it was about to blow this off. So I had to go out and I had to put some logs on the back side of it. Um doing that I ripped it. <laughs> I ripped it trying to put logs on because this stuff is paper thin. Look at this guy. I'm tired. I probably get but like an hour of sleep if that. I'm gonna get up and tear this shelter down. Get everything cleaned up. Yeah, we're gonna get up out of here. Let's go.